You're watching NBC for New York. And now, Darlene Rodriguez, Rob Morrison, Chris Cimino, and Otis Livingston. This is News Channel 4, Today in New York. Official the first day of summer is finally here. With sunny days ahead, you should be aware that even some of the mildest medications and chemicals can cause a reaction when mixed with sun. But which medications and how do you protect yourself? Dr. David Colbert is with us this morning to tell us about some common reactions and what you can do to prevent them. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Nice to see you. So what, what we're talking about is prescription medication or over-the-counter medication or both? Actually, we're talking about both. Okay. So photoallergic and phototoxic reactions that would include things like actually sunscreens mm -hmm. that are chemical sunscreens. So mm -hmm. things with something like benzophenone or cinemates. These are chemical ingredients that block the sun. Mm -hmm. And then also prescription medicines such okay. as antibiotics and as such. So a little bit of both. Okay, now when it comes to the two main reactions to the sun, it's phototoxic and photoallergic. That's correct. As you just mentioned, tell us the difference. Okay, phototoxic is happens within minutes, and it looks like a severe sunburn. It can cause some itching. Um, it can be painful. Mm -hmm. Then there's also photoallergic, which mm -hmm. uh, takes up to three days, one to three days to occur, and it looks more like an eczema or a rash in okay. sun-exposed areas. In sun-exposed areas. So, okay, so, and this is when you're using this particular medication, you have to, of course, try and figure out what it is. Right. And mixing that with being in the sunshine. That's correct. All right, let's talk a little bit about some of the medications that can cause phototoxic reactions. We just saw a list a second ago, anti-inflammatories anti-acne medications, blood pressure medications, and some antifungals. Can you tell us about some of those? Sure. So a lot of people are on anti-acne medicines and things like isotretinoin, which mm -hmm. is a very strong drug. So that would be one you would want to definitely wear sunblock. Um, antibiotics such as sulfur, tetracycline, mm -hmm. Cipro, those are things that rarely do but sometimes can cause um, phototoxic reactions. And mm -hmm. certain blood pressure medicines such as diltiazem and quinidine, so a lot of people are on those. And then diarrhea which mm -hmm. also help control blood pressure like Lasix. So you have to ask your doctor to be sure which ones do or don't cause it. And I've seen, because I remember I, I have received medication that says beware or avoid exposure to the sun. I know you have some pill bottles here and of course right. we need to read all of the warnings exactly. on the bottles and pay attention, right? So it would say what? Well it would say um, to be careful in the sun. It would say this mm -hmm. medicine can cause a phototoxic reaction into our sunblock and you have to read the entire insert. Whereas over-the-counter things such as sunblocks don't say that on the back mm -hmm. of the bottle and neither do fragrances. Certain perfumes can cause that and certain mm -hmm. antibacterial soaps. So to be very careful. Now when it says when it says that on the pill bottle, I mean, do you do you kind of not go out? Because I was afraid to go outside at all. Or you just have to wear your sunblock no, I think and be careful? It's still unusual. It's somewhat rare. So you have to be careful. You okay. need to wear a sunblock that blocks UVA light because light that comes through windows can cause this reaction. So it could even occur while you're at work if you're in the sun near a window. All right. Now some medications that cause photoallergic reactions. As you said, we had sunscreens, fragrance, diabetes pills, some birth control pills as well. Tell right. us about that. So um, well, that is the full list right mm -hmm. there. And But the most important thing to remember is that it's sort of unusual that a sunscreen would be the one that would cause it. So it's a chemical sunscreen that you would like to avoid if you get photoallergic reactions. So you have to look at the bottle and mm -hmm. see, does it have benzophenone mm -hmm. or cinnamate, all those long words that people always wonder what they are. Right. So you really need to check that. Um, the other over-the-counter products doesn't happen very often, so I think if you're wearing a good sunblock, you're protected. You're, 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 you should be okay. Right. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Colbert. You. Thank you for being with us this morning. Rob, over to you. Uh